Right, welcome to session two, which is all about life before college. Let's start with you, Morgan. What was life like before college then? Did you enjoy school? No, not at all. <laughs> uh, like, Why not? It's, it's just the crowd around it. Some people don't really have a respectful man of you. But in mm. college, it's really respectful. People, um, they welcome you. In school, it weren't like that. Do you feel like you're treated differently at Oh, college? much differently. You're treated like an adult which I'd rather be treated like instead of someone that's six. There's a real lovely atmosphere at College of Conway as well, isn't there? Yeah, we, there's loads of um, excitement and loads of new friends and loads of people are talking, like Max here. I've, well, we speak quite well together. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and well, I've you've only met, met him once. for the first time together. It's mm. amazing. We and had, now you're on a podcast. Yeah, we had decent chemistry in that reception. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's brilliant. <laughs> and that's the thing, though, because college is all about... I went to a, a sixth form college as well, yeah. and it prepared me for university better than I think a school would have done. Mm. But then, having said that, my school didn't do A-levels. <laughs> so do you think that it prepares you for the next level, do you think? Um, 100%, yeah. Since I've come to college, especially in this one, I was in uh, Cardiff College before... Um, this college has made me more confident as a person as well because I've been able to um, meet new people who have similar interests to me as well. And uh, it's been good because I've been able to make new friends, um, speak to people I wouldn't really probably speak to outside of college either. So it's been good to uh, meet, meet a variety of uh, different characters and mm. uh, different from all aspects of life as well. And perhaps, it's Harvey, good. doing things like this as well. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Yeah, exciting things like this. So which school did you go to before you came um, here? St. Martin's. Right, okay. my last school. And, and how did you decide to join the college then? Was that just like, I want to do something different, I want to do a different course that they can't offer me in school? Um, yeah, I wasn't really getting on with school um, Anyway, to be honest, so it was good to uh, look for new options and new possibilities. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I stumbled across college. And uh, yeah, I was going to do um, computing originally, but um, creative media was the course that stuck out to me. Because, uh, like I said before, it's something I have interest in. And uh, yeah, it's been really good. Yeah, well, as someone who works in creative media, I'm yeah. delighted you're joining us. Yeah. Fantastic, <laughs> because the opportunities are incredible. What about you, Max? What about school um, like before? For well, you? Uh, I was in a homeschooling program actually uh, before I came to College of Kamoiv. And, uh, of course, if you're homeschooled, you don't really have kind of the social life that you would have if you were in school. Mm. And because of that, when I came to College of Kamoiv, it was just a massive culture shock. You're just, you're, 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 you're in the college and, na you know, now you have to kind of go from zero to Did you find it hard to make friends well, when you were homeschooled? hundred percent, yeah, yeah. But I think coming here, um, because of how encouraged it is to, to socialize here, you know, it, it really does prepare you for, for the future, really. And I think that's the Meeting biggest thing. Yeah. That's yeah. the biggest skill you learn here is to socialize properly, mm. you know. So, yeah, that re re really um, going from homeschooling to here is a little bit jarring. But honest is the best decision I've ever made. There will be people watching and listening and asking, well, how do you join a college? So what did you do then? Morgan, let's start with you. Did you go to an open event or uh, did you read about it? There was an event it? in... Uh, our uh, comprehensive school trophy comp and uh it's just they offer loads of offers you just go up to the table speak to them tell them what course you do what they offer you and then i found this college in um gonna be a one around the campus and i decided to give it a go and it's probably one of my best decisions apart from that though like how much did you know about this college before then nothing Nothing at all? Nothing at all. Wow. I came here and I was, wow. Because I, I joined the Romva <laughs> campus, but our restaurant w was currently being built, so I had to come to Ankaru as well. So it was kind of, I was in both colleges, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay. So do you think then the college perhaps could do more to publicise what it's got here? Does it need to do that a little better, do you think? I think it could, like, expand its horizons a bit more, but... Other than that, it does show a good aspect of what what's around and mm. everything. Mm. I find that um, I, I can't really comment on that because uh, I joined when I moved to Wales. Uh, it was um, August. It was in August of uh, 2020, and um, at that point, like my my course has already been going on for about um, a week or two or, or whatever. So um, I just didn't. I didn't know enough about the the, the region yeah. to really know what was around. Um, but, you know, l looking at it now, it's more publicized than I say it used to be. Yeah. You know, e even when I just moved here. Yeah. Well, so. this podcast and, and this vodcast will help people as well. Did you Lovely. find it via an open event or did they come to the school or did you read about it online? Um, I just saw the college thing on an advertisement. I was listening to music on Spotify and I just 
it came through as an ad. Oh, really? So, yeah. Mm-hmm. It was uh, pretty cool, and it was like, okay, I'll go check it out. And, uh, yeah, that's how I found, you know, um, well, yeah, the college, and I was looking for the website, and, uh, yeah, I've seen it uh, advertised in other places as well. Um, and I did actually come to an open day they held here as well, and they had lots of activities going on um, just to make people feel welcome and uh, to show you what the environment's like, and it was good, yeah. I enjoyed it. Terrific. And also, Harvey, when you get here then, how easy is it then to get on the course? What do you have to do? Is it fill in forms or do you have to Um, speak to your tutor? You have to go through some processes of like obviously filling out forms and all that stuff. You have to um, enroll yourself. Yeah, you have to enroll yourself. Or or online. Yeah, um, it yeah did start online, online. And you have to come into yeah. college, don't you? And, uh, you have a little yeah, interview uh, or something like that. Yeah, 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 interview. And um, it's just to introduce you to the course, really, and just let you know what's going to go on and stuff. Um, it's quite an easy process, though. It doesn't take too long. It's, yeah. it's quite relaxed and stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, fantastic um, stuff. But, yeah, that's good. Good, good. And you all seem like you're really enjoying college life as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Definitely. Good tutors? Oh, really good tutors. Kevin Hall. Yeah. One of the best hello, chefs Kevin. I've met. Let's say hello to Kevin. Hi, Kev. <laughs> <laughs> Call me some green good today, right? Yeah, yeah. Well done, Mark. <laughs> Tutors, fantastic. Brilliant. Yeah, uh, they've really kind of helped me build build myself, I'd say. Um, it's not like they just help you with the course. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because the, the skills that they teach you just help you go above and beyond. Do you feel like you're different then as an individual, having coming to college than you were when you were being homeschooled. One hundred percent. You 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 become a much more how to put this, you become a much more conscientious individual. Confidence? Build yeah, up yeah confidence. you build confidence yeah. too, but yeah. you more social. You, more social, yeah. But you know, more more than anything, you become more focused on on a goal in, in that sense. Like mm. when I, I I wanted to do computing uh, when I left school, but I didn't really know um, you know what specifically it was that I wanted to do, but when you come to college, you know you 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 have your your eyes set on something. Mm. What you know, is your specific. course like? Like what do you do? As there's IT well, and gaming, which is like coding and everything. Yeah, well, um, a, a lot of it, it it's a portfolio based course, so it's about doing assignments. So you you usually you're kind of on your own. When it comes to, to to the work, you can have help from your tutors, of course you can, but it's it's more so about getting through assignment work, you know, writing essays. Um, but apart from that, you know, obviously you have coding stuff like that. We're currently doing website production, and modeling, and 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 um, so it, there there are practical elements, but a lot of it, surprisingly, is theory. Do you enjoy the course though? Yeah, hundred percent, brilliant. I'd say there's no point in going to college unless you're going to pick something that you're going to enjoy mm. because otherwise it gets tough. Like I didn't expect cook going to be so hard, <laughs> but it is quite tough. But, I but enjoy it's your passion it. as well, right? Exactly. So, so when you it. feel passionate about something, then you yeah. go along it's for like, the ride, don't you? It may knock me down, but you get back up. Yeah, and you nice. Better. Yeah. Mm. You've yeah. all, three of you have got great attitudes. Yeah. Fantastic. And it, did the tutors help you choose your course or did you know in your heads that you wanted to come to, in your case, Harvey, creative yeah. media? Uh, me personally, it was just something that um, I discovered myself that I wanted to uh, get into. Um, for for example, because I'm doing creative media, I like to uh, you know make films and I like all that stuff. So like um, it wasn't really pushed as such. It was something you, I had to sort of uncover myself and find out really what it was all about. So I think with college, you just got to come in and just like if it's something you are interested in or maybe you just have the slightest interest in it, you should just push yourself a bit and just to see if there's something you do actually want to, you know, take part in is yeah. cause it's, it's and it's also good. colleague come with let's talk about the facilities as well because oh, yeah. let's face it in school you haven't got a restaurant like you've got no. a colleague come with for example morgan you don't really you haven't got i mean we're sitting in a fantastic studio at the moment which has got a massive drum kit got a load <laughs> of speakers gives a guitar behind you there do you know what I mean? So that in schools... It's got bass, yeah, is. Yeah. Is it a bass guitar? Yeah. Right, there we are. Um, there we are. He's good at music as well, isn't he? He's playing <laughs> drums as well, don't you? Yeah. We'll get you on the drums later. I'll sing. Okay, we'll <laughs> sing a song as well. But do you know what I mean? You've got the facilities here in Collingwood come with, haven't you? Yeah, it's it's really exciting. Mm. I like everything about my course. I like everything about college. Yeah. There's it's a lot of experience. With, with, with your course... Um, Oh, right now, you you say you're working in the kitchen, yeah. So before that, how was it like? Were you just tr- like trying various dishes? Like uh, how how did the course flow? They, they we do do like a taste test and texture test before we mm. got into the kitchen on my start a level two. 
and uh, like we close our eyes, put something on our mouth, and we guess what it is. And to be fair, I won it. I was three of us. Okay. There's only three in my course now, yeah. and it was it's it's good experience, really good experience. Yeah. Like I never tried blue cheese before, and people may think it's disgusting, <laughs> but it's just cheese. <laughs> It's cheese that tastes more cheesier than cheese. Yeah. It's like mature cheese is going to taste cheesy. Like soft cheese is not going to taste that. Mild is not going to taste that cheesy. But like then you've got fermented cheese and it's really strong. It's just a strong taste. Some people won't like it because they don't like the cheesy smell of things like that. Mm. It that does have But a you must have smell. to use lots of cheese in cooking as well. Do you? you do a lot of French cooking, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Um, I've done a cheese gougere. Which Ooh, is uh, what's that? It's like, like small little. Do you know like a Scotch egg? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that, uh, but with, instead of the egg, it's stuffed with cheese. And let's think about this now, because before college, you would have had no idea how to do that. No, I wouldn't no. have. I would not be able to make a souffle, which is really hard to make. Yeah. But and Morgan, that's in a year, right? That's in a year. You've learned to do all this in a year. That's ama- yeah. amazing. And to my tutors, got to say thank you to them because mm. they've encouraged me to carry on my course. And I'm going to do level free food and beverage service. Yes, next year. And I've got a competition next year already. Um, maybe have a trip to Barcelona. Is that in the skills competition? Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. So it's going to be like folding handkerchiefs into a yeah. special part. And You've got to build yourself up now to Master Chef, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Good idea. <laughs> show, show Gordon Ramsay. Yes. Yeah, good. His boss. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, like, ah, Gordon Ramsay's got nothing on me. Well, Ramsay's <laughs> already in your sights. You've already mentioned him as well, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Michelin star from Morgan. Watch out, Ramsay. Soon. And do you think as well that the creative media course in a year, do you think like Morgan, you've developed and you've got better? Oh, yeah, 100%. Um, I've learned how to work with others as well, teamwork. Um, my team That's skills. big in creative media, right? Oh, yeah, 100%. And... Um, you know, it's been good to work in like a collaborative space as well and work on projects with the people and um, combine ideas and stuff and like st- like time management as well. I've learned to time management because, as you know, with uh, creative media, everything's got to be on time schedule and stuff and it's all good to, like, you know, manage your time correctly and uh, keep stuff like that as well. It's been really good. So, but I've learned loads of new skills, um, communication skills, like I said earlier. And um, yeah, I could probably go on for hours about how many new things I've learned. So yeah. in a short amount of time as well, yeah. you're surprised how much you will actually learn and take on board. So Amazing. it's really good. Well, you're yeah. all an inspiration. Absolutely fantastic. Same for you, Max. Do you think you developed? 100%, yeah. Um, with the computing course, um, it teaches you... Um, kind of more niche subjects, I suppose, um, things that you wouldn't necessarily learn from uh, using a computer directly. Um, but you you learn ki- kind of everything from uh, how an operating system works, how to build a PC. Um, beyond that, you get to learn more about um, business as well, how information flows from different departments to others safely, how to keep information secure and all that. Um, but also because your course is so... Um, he- heavily based on computers. When you use a computer and you run into various issues, like you would um, if you've used a computer, um, you learn how to fix them. So you you kind of learn uh, the basic day to day of using a computer that way as well. So it you learn it all. Can really. you break through a firewall? I cannot break through a firewall <laughs> because I'm not a criminal. Uh, <laughs> but, but, Fair um, good answer. <laughs> Very good answer. But, um, I, I've I've had to do. Um, you know, I've, I've had to troubleshoot many, many different things, um, you know, fix many things. Um, I had one friend back when I was in England who uh, brought his PC in from Japan and uh, I had to try and get his stuff to run on a um, on a new Windows PC. Yeah. So basically the process with that is, is that you have to kind of change different things about the file to get it to run because it's in Japanese and the and you, you know the English PCs don't recognize the characters so you, you, you know it, you learn kind of a, a, anything that you've learned previously becomes useful when you're in here mm-hmm. is what I'm saying it's yes. not like you so, lose the knowledge it sticks no. with you yeah, yeah. 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 It's, some, it's something good for life really yeah, mm. yeah. you've all clearly developed in a year and fantastic well, I can make bread without reading our ingredients. I can just chuck a couple of things in, make it, and it'll turn out amazing. You should have seen the brioche baguette I made oh, the other day. It was spectacular. Banging. You could have brought one in next year, right? No, I'm next year. service next oh, year. Oh, no. Okay. We don't want any folded handkerchiefs. <laughs> we want a brioche. 
brioche. Fair so, enough. and just tell me this, Morgan. Could you bake bread before you started at the college? I could, but I don't think I could bake bread as well as I do now. Yeah. And, my and is that because you do it over and over and over again at the college? Yeah. Everyone yeah. thinks, everyone says me as the bread maker because... I do make really nice bread, and I would tip my tip to know Kevin, he's a baker, he's got his own bakery in Cardiff, he's quite su- successful himself, he got a really nice house, huge, Yeah. and he's got a couple of cars yeah, to nice. his name, right. and he's the reason why I can bake bread as Super. well as I do eat. Him being so successful pushes me to be better than him. I love this. So I Fantastic. just like chucking loads of things in, and then and I just mix it all up, knead the dough for 10 minutes, leave it prove under the hot plate and then just with the cling film over it, brush it with oil so it don't stick, uh, leave it for a bit, put it back out, give it a nice little knead, put in a loaf tin, some little thyme or rosemary in the top of it, a little sprinkle of truffle oil, a nice bake for a good like 30, 45 minutes, depending on how big the loaf is, and you've got yourself a really nice <laughs> focaccia. And focaccia bread is probably my favourite. Yeah. Any butter on that? Wouldn't need to. It's, yeah. The truffle is really flavorful. It's really yeah. strong. Like loads of people normally go and brush over with the oil loads. Truffle oil, I put my finger on top and just drizzle it quick over. Amazing. I wouldn't use too much. Fantastic. And you would not have known how to do that. You probably never used truffle oil, had you before that? No, it's really no. expensive. I know it's expensive. Really, right? really yeah. expensive. So that's just amazing. And that's what the college has given you that opportunity and that confidence and the skills, most importantly, to make I, that. I can make things that. I didn't know existed, like a roux. I didn't even know what a roux is. It's just a sauce. Mm. Or a coulis. I didn't know what a coulis is. That's just fruit. Mm. And it's like, wow. <laughs> yeah, so good. I know. And it's, well done, you. I, I didn't even know what beignets were. And I made a toffee beignet. Mm. I made donuts. I, it's, it's loads. It's amazing. So good. You learn so many things, and you can bring it home. You're like, Mom, do you want me to cook your food? Yeah. And... Nan comes over, I cook her a steak. Yeah. How do you want it? Medium, medium well, medium rare. Yeah. Rare. Do you want it blue? Like blue steaks. And Nan and nice. Mum, they love your cooking? Oh, my Nan loves my cooking. Yeah. My uh, mum my is fussy. She's like, yeah. too much for me. Yeah. She's, because I like splashing her with turmeric, some chilli powder, loads of things. Paprika I like working with. But my favourite out of everything is probably oregano. With a nice Italian type of tang to it. Can that be fresh nice. or dried? Dried. Right, I like okay. you working with dried stuff. Like fresh stuff I'd use. Chive, fresh. Um, basil, fresh. Mint, parsley. Coriander? Coriander I've worked with, yeah. yeah. It's, coriander goes with... It's turning into a food podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyone want a steak? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Love a steak. <laughs> Love a steak. <laughs> right. shop, no. Okay, I think that's the end of part two. Brilliant. Yeah.